Newfoundland, the easternmost point of North America. Cold and inhospitable for most of the year, it becomes a haven during the summer months. Millions of animals migrate to these shores every year, from the skies and the sea. All to feed on one small fish, the capelin. Here we will discover how this fish is able to support an entire ecosystem. It is early summer and the weather is still cool. The capelin have begun their migration from far away waters. Over 35 million birds return to Newfoundland every year. The birds time their breeding so that the chicks will hatch at the peak of the fishing harvest to have the best possible chance to survive the season. If the capelin do not arrive, many of the chicks will starve. For now, however, it is a waiting game for the expectant parents. The arrival of whales is the first sign that the capelin numbers are increasing along the shores. The eastern Canadian coast is home to the largest gathering of humpback whales on the planet. They come in the summer months to feed primarily on capelin. In open waters, the whales dive 100 meters to catch the fish that are still deep in the water. As the waters warm, the fish begin to swim closer to the surface, introducing them to a new threat. Visitors to these shores, such as these puffins, spend the majority of their lives at the sea and are specially adapted to dive deep. The puffins dive up to 60 meters to hunt the migrating capelin using specialized rudder-like feet. One of the biggest birds to feed on the capelin, the gannet also dives into the water to feed. The gannets head to shallower waters, but the capelin are now just 10 meters under the surface of the water. They are purpose-built missiles and have specialized air sacs and fat cushions to absorb the impact. They dive up to 60 miles per hour, plunging into the depths below. They fold their wings a moment before impact to reduce the possibility of breaking their neck. Any error will cost them their life. Gulls now fill the cliffs above the beaches the final sign that the capelin are about to spawn. The fish have arrived to the shallow waters and are now just meters from the end of their journey, the beach. The gulls use this opportunity as an easy meal. They may just try and take another's catch. The capelin will wait a few more days for the perfect conditions to begin their spawning.
Early one midsummer morning, the Capelin finally arrive. The Capelin are washed in with the tides, filling the beaches. This is a risky strategy. Most of the males die from exertion, while others get stranded on the beach. The males follow the females onto the beach and push onto her, forcing her to expel her eggs. The waves help in depositing the eggs amongst the gravel and sand along the beach. The scale of the capelin spawn on these beaches is unique. Most other populations reproduce deep in the ocean. It is a gamble as more eggs are fertilised on beaches. However, the eggs are much more vulnerable than in deep waters. The capelin rolling, as it is known here, only occurs for a few short days so their arrival spurs an impromptu festival as everyone comes out to catch some fish. The capelin roll has been part of this local culture for centuries. And the locals aren't the only ones on the beach. Birds of all kinds are filling up when the capelin is so plentiful. These guillemots normally eat the fish in the water, yet with such abundant fish they have filled up too much and are unable to fit any more in. On the ledge above, kitty wakes return to their young to feed them from today's catch. High above, the fast-growing gannet chicks are developing quite the appetite. Finally, the largest member of this feast pursues the fish right to the shore's edge. Despite all that they must face, the capelin have reached their goal. On average, 8 billion eggs are deposited onto a single beach, more than the world's human population. The majority of these eggs will hatch, with new capelin replenishing the waters. With the sheer scale of their spawn, capelin are able to establish themselves as one of the most important fish in these waters. The tiny fish, in their trillions, reinvigorate an entire ecosystem and are the basis for the largest feast of the year. <laughs>